Happy Wednesday. Happy Do Not Hump Wednesday. Double Diamond Railroad back. Doing things a little bit different. We got an engine that's down in the shop. Had to take them off to the shop for some serious maintenance. So we're going to try running with two. Two SC40-2 and a GP38-2. 3,000 horsepower, 2,000 horsepower. Yeah, I can't remember that GP38. I don't think he's even turbo. So we got to go switch metal work. Came over here to get some paperwork at the depot. Check in with them. And now they're going to head out to Metalworks. Hope everybody's having a great week. Storms every day here. And we're getting some needed rain, but not much at a time. Today we got one 100th. Yesterday we got 18 100th. So almost two tenths of an inch. But we're adding up, we're up over 480 some inches for the month of July. We got one more. Well, that's going to be it then today. So. Maybe we'll make it to five inches though. Okay, let's get going here. Metalworks, we gotta do some switch on both tracks. Get some more coke in there before they put any more scrap in to work on. Refurbish, meltdown, all that. Give you a pretty close to my view stand back here. Zoom in a little bit. See that beautiful farm. Oh, I got some new uh, grain bins coming in for the farm. It's already shipped, or it's got a label. It hadn't shipped it yet. 3D printed, assembled. Now I have to spray paint them aluminum paint that I have. Should look pretty good. Two of those round, corrugated, wrapped bins, grain drying bins. Yeah, we got some dirty switches there. Haven't been in here for a month. I'll see. That's what I get for running two engines. So apparently that frog of that switch, or not the frog of the switch points on a switch. Let's see if we can recover it by switching out. Switch up here. No, it's this one. We're not going to be able to get that. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't I don't have power on. Sorry about that. I see it now. I should turn the other light on. That's it. No problem with the engine or the switch. Power block was down, number three. That was from doing other work. Sorry about that. That's what happens. When paying attention, that's what happens when you haven't been in here for a while. I think it got that engine off, derailed the front end of him now. Now we're gonna have to couple up, we're on a curve. Could be tough. Okay, maybe I should have shot this tomorrow. In the morning, actual Wednesday. Fraught with problems already. See if we can get out here, I might have derailed somebody. Cupboard's jumping off. Switches are right. There he stopped again. What is going on? Track power is on this time. Let me check, see what's feeling there. Maybe his wheels are off. 
lead engine. Okay, we got multiple problems. Should have cleaned switches. We haven't been in here. Clean the points. And the couplers are coming apart because I don't have that pulled the third engine. There's something right there. They're running up over. Yeah, see, something in the frog there. Must be something stuck in the frog. Making them try to jump over the switch. Could be a piece of foam from the pad I cleaned with. Don't know. We'll check it out. We'll pull up enough to see. Now I'll brush out the contacts real quick. Let's go in out here and do both of them. Stop this stuff. I only got two switches to go through. Right there. We'll hold up here and clean that switch and the one back behind it. Okay, we turned on some more lights over here so we can see better. The third light. Okay, I knocked that end car off while I was cleaning. Let's see if we can back in here. And which way are we going? Okay, got to throw the switch. We're going the wrong way. Should have gone out and flown the helicopter. I thought about doing that. So hot in the garage. Okay, let's come on back, shove them on back. I'm gonna use this empty, this string here, empty in the rest of the loads. Use it as a handle to grab the next load of coke. It's sitting on the extra track. And it's hard to see from that view. Boom. Now, did they connect? I doubt it. Probably not, right on the curve. No, he disconnected somewhere else. Boy, lots of trouble. Okay. Stand by. For now, they're all connected. I actually did make contact back there, but it broke in two other places. Crazy. We're working out on the main line here, not in the yard lead back door. Makes it easier on the, str on the string of cars. That all takes out some kinks. We don't have a grade going up and down. So now what we're going to do is spot, shove this load back in so I can get that coke in there. And then I got to break these up and get the next load of coke so I get two loads of coke back there in the warehouse building, in the shed. Stand by. When well, my hands are a little bit jumpy. Might have had too much coffee and tea before this. Late in the day. It's already going on 8 o'clock here, Tuesday night. Trying to get this out at 12.05 a.m. Get back on schedule. Engine's too far away for the plant to hear the bell. So what's the point? So get this load of coke in, in the shed. Good enough. Now let's stretch. So we can uncouple. That'll do. We'll shove him back here in a minute. 
Hey, let's get her on couple three hey, steps. Hey, well, that's dangerous. Didn't set the handbrake, and that car rolled back a little bit downhill there. So ready to pull out. Getting slammed by alerts on my phone right where I'm looking. Left side of the camera screen. So now what we have to do is take these two pipe loads, put them back where they came from, and then we'll take that next Coke car and shove it back in the warehouse. The shed, the building, the barn, whatever. Okay, there we go. Just tons of alerts, thunderstorm alerts. Watch the Nashville area. Okay, let's shove them on back. Gonna disappear behind the shed lumber sheds. You can see the top of him. He'll pop out back here. And that'll do. Okay, now we'll stretch. Good enough. Hit us on couple. Okay, here we go. We're coming out. Let's get this next Coke car shoved back into the building. That one right there, CP rail. And that'll do. I think we're doing good now that we got the switches scrubbed out, sprayed with CRC contact cleaner. I'm gonna come up and couple to that yellow ended car high gone is sitting there. Boom. And he rolled in seeing. So you gotta go back a little more. Couple up. Okay, that's it, he's against a bumper. So let's stretch it down. There we go. Okay, three step uncouple. This is what happens late in the day. Having a hard time seeing in there and seeing those couplers to get them undone. Here we go. I would, oh, he just came off. He got, he got rolled and we're dirty out front on a sun, another spot. This guy got rolled when we backed in, kind of pushed a bumper too hard. Standby will rail again. Okay, I think we got him. Let's pull up some more. Hard to do when he's sitting on the switch point.
I'll say one thing. These engines do better when there's three of them. One kind of one glitches, the other ones kind of bump them along so they catch again. Okay, let's throw that switch. Conductor on the ground. So we're going to come back on the spare track, the loads track. Because we don't really need them over there. They can't do anything until they get more coke unloaded over there. Just keep them free of the building. These guys have room to work. And that'll do. And stretch them. Good enough. That'll do. So now we're coming up here. We are blocking the switch, but it's okay for now. Because when they come back, they'll probably grab all the loads, pull out, use them as a handle, get to two empty coke cars. There's still a partial filled coke car uh, ahead of the two pipe cars. We'll have to stick in there. So we might go ahead and do that now. I think we should get it over there so they can work those. It's three step and we're going to ground to get that uncoupled. Okay, here we go. Try to shift the view a little bit, see down in there better. He's going out, got to back down again to the building. The unloading track. Oh, there he went. Oh boy. Man, had a lot of problems today. How do you survive all that? Gets out there and flips over. Crazy. Hey, we got to get room to re railing. Stand by. Lots of problems today. Boy, what a mess. Couldn't even get him re-railed. Back wheels are acting up. And it was a real one. Okay, let's come on back. Now we're so close we can't get the angle. That's it. Pulling forward, take slack call. Three set. Oh, he uncoupled. How about that? Okay, we'll proceed. Came apart right where we needed it. I don't think it was ever coupled when I put him back on. So we're having to do a lot of work here today. That's the way it should be. Okay, step in here, throw the switch again to the spare track. And here we go, shove them on back. Kind of humid down here. I'm getting hot, a little bit sticky. Even with the dehumidifier was on all day. Pretty muggy outside. Dew points are high. That's it. Okay, now we'll move up here, uncouple the two engines, head back to the service track. We'll go in the back door. Let me set that up real quick. Show the switches the right way. So we get off the main. Got that, got that. It should be good to go in there. Okay, so uncouple. Here we go.
Three step. Yeah, I knocked the back engine off a little bit and had to set them back. Let's go. Too many problems. Up on the main, immediately back down the back door to the yard lead. Up to 10 miles an hour. Slow them down. Okay, there he is. Throw that switch, go back into service. Lead. Okay, here we go. Take her home, boys. Fuel trucks waiting for number one engine. Say a friendly hello to all the Bob's customers. And that'll do. Right there is good. Everybody's happy these guys can shut down, go get their supper. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. Have a great rest of your week. See you next time. Double Diamond Railroad, out.